What's good, everybody? So today I have my man Joel in the chair. Joel is one of the newest members of the Headlines team. He actually works with me at the new location, our Headlines Sun Lake location. And uh, usually Joel gets a one and a half all over with a high taper. However, he wanted, today he wanted to switch it up a little bit. He wanted to go ahead and keep the one and a half on top going with the grain which I'm doing now. And then he wanted to get a skin fade and he was kind of like, you know, just bless me. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of fade, just go ahead and hook it up however you see fit. So that's what I decided to do. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and continue to use the one and a half all over, just making sure that we're going with the grain, trying to knock some of that bulk down and uh, smooth it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with a one and a half or a one guard open. And in the parietal ridge area, still going with the grain, just kind of going down so we can smooth out some of that area to fade into. Then I'll go ahead and close it to a one and drop down just a little bit. And just there again, just smoothing that hair out uh, that might curl up so that we can get a nice clean fade into that. So I'm going to set my first guideline with my clippers. And the clippers I'm using are the Stylecraft Instincts. Um, I do have the Master Blade modification on there. That's that Filthy Blends mod that comes with it. It actually comes in the box. I have the original cutter for the Instincts, the cutter blade. However, I do have a Master Blade on there so I can use my Purple Magnetic Guards. And I'm going to tell you what, this clipper is so small, so light, and it's fire, especially with that blade on it. So as you can see, I did my second guideline with the blade fully open. Now I have the blade closed halfway and I'm just kind of tapping at that uh, initial guideline that we made um, so I can kind of blend that in a little bit better. Now, as you can see, I use a lot of the, the corners of my blade whenever I'm fading. Um, it may look like I'm using the full blade, but I'm just using the corners, just, just tapping at d dark spots and really trying to blend that dark line out and kind of take it into that second guideline that we created. Now I'm going to jump in and I'm going to make my third guideline with the number one guard all the way open. As you can see, I'm going up probably about an inch, an inch and a half with that one open usually i like to go a little bit higher with that because i like to stretch my blends and i feel like that whenever you stretch a blend out that it actually looks blurrier um, so i do that with a number one however i didn't want to raise it too high because i you know i've never cut his hair before this is the first time cutting his hair and i wanted to make sure that you know i slowly uh, you know got into position to give him the bl best blend possible I didn't want to just jump in and scalp him, you know So now I went ahead and closed that number one and we're just working on that bottom line trying to take it out We know that the number one more than likely won't take it out But we're just gonna flick right into that one open that we just did All right, so now I have the zero guard on there. As I just showed you, the blade is fully open and I'm dropping way below that dark line and working my way into that dark line, seeing if that one open or excuse me, that zero guard open will take that line out. If it won't, then I'll close it halfway and then I'll close it all the way and just start working, you know, with the corners and things like that. There again, usually I would jump in with the zero guard just halfway open, but because it is my first time cutting his hair and I'm not familiar with his hair uh, specifically, I wanted to go ahead and be cautious, you know, just take some caution and just open the blade fully and then work my way closed. You know, I watch a lot of Instagram videos and it's funny how you know they'll show you one pass you know with with uh, the trimmer and then they'll show you one pass with the you know blade fully open and one pass with a guard on it you know and and it just blends together beautifully and it looks like it was done in just 
a matter of seconds when the reality is that that's not reality man reality is you have to go over uh you know certain spots time and time again sometimes you got to switch the guards back to guards that you've already opened just to go ahead and get it to blend together and right now we moved on to the next guard and that was the one uh, and a half guard and I had it fully open and I just blended into what I did at the very beginning <clears throat> I don't know if you remember at the very beginning I was going down with the number one smoothing that out and now I can just use that one and a half open and blend into that then I close the one and a half guard and just working on tying that one open to that one and a half close to, to just get it to blend together. However, it's not going to come together like I would like it to. So I'm going to have to go back to that number one open and just, uh, you know, start working at trying to tie those together a little bit better. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It would pass for some. However, you know, I'm, you know me, I'm into the details. I want this thing to be super blurry and I don't want there to be any lines at all to the best of my ability. So I have to go back and hit it again. And like I said, some people make it look so easy on Instagram. It usually is not that simple. You have to keep on working the steps there again go back to different guards and you know open it close it do whatever so right now i closed it uh you know halfway and just dropping a little bit lower and continuing to attack those darker you know that darker weighty uh weightier area so we can just kind of you know tie it together now i'm closing it all the way so it's a process and that's why i decided to only show you one side of the fade first um because Man, if I try to show you the whole thing, man, this video would take forever. And I wanted to really show you guys um, some details that I'm going to get into in just a moment. However, there again, take your time. I know everybody, you know, will brag about being the fastest barber. And hey, if you're fast, that's awesome. However, I would rather have take a little bit longer and have a beautiful, clean blend and uh you know and and have that person want to get back in the chair so now i'm using the stylecraft sabers uh, with the same blade that comes on that new stylecraft flex blade or flex trimmer i love this this blade i don't know where i found it but as soon as i found it i put it on and it just hits different on that saber um, so i'm glad they put that on the new stylecraft flex and now I'm going to use that new uh, Babyliss UV single foil trimmer. I love this trimmer. Man, Babyliss does a phenomenal job with their shavers, rather. And uh, those shavers, man, they're just so smooth. I love this one because you can get over the uh, lip really well, over the mustache, and, and over the ear, you know, all that good stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, just start, you know, doing some more detail work towards the bottom right now I have the blade fully open and I'm just attacking you know dark spots and lines with with the uh, corner of my blade and then I'll close it halfway and then I'll close it all the way dropping down you know while I'm doing that and uh, just working my way to that bald that we just did with the shaver A lot of times whenever I'm doing this type of detail work or whenever I'm using my, you know, shear over comb technique, you know, a lot of people will say, oh man, you ain't even hitting anything. And I'm definitely hitting something. Um, you know, that's why, uh, you know, I guess you would say, you know, it takes a developed eye, you know, as your eye develops, you see things that other people can't see. And, uh, you know, I'll sit there and pick out a fade, man, and just continue to work at it because I can I keep seeing things, you know, that I want to uh, blend out. So now we have that same one and a half guard. We drop down, you know, a little bit lower than the ear on his beard and uh, just going up and I'll start with that open then close just working my way up. Now I have the number one guard on there open as I'm working my way up to the bald area I'll close it 
then I'll put the zero guard on, open, working my way up, then I'll close it, and then I'll take the blade off, or the guard off, open, and then I usually do halfway open and then close. And I just try to work that all the way out to get that faded into the bald. And it doesn't always look perfect. Sometimes you gotta come back and touch it up. Um, so I like to do this as well, especially with beards because the beards, usually the hair curls and sticks out and you can kind of smooth it down a little bit. Uh, using the trimmer now to hit up that back line and to touch up you know, those little hairs that still where there was still a little line around the bald area. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and lightly freehand the beard. Um, I know that I can come in and sharpen it up with the razor, but we're just going to go ahead and put that shape on it so we can see what it's looking like. Now, we're just going to go ahead and start using my shear over comb technique uh, and just start tapping at hairs. And, and as you can see, I kind of freehanded some stuff too, just to, you know, work on that blend. Use whatever tool you need to, to bring that blend together. That's what I like to do. Now, obviously, you can see in different areas of this front lineup uh, that it's a little light, you know, so we don't want to push back uh, his hairline, you know, and lose the integrity of his shape up. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they'll get mad about, man, why don't you just go ahead and take it up a little bit higher, make it look sharper. Um, you know, we don't want to do that. And the reason we're okay with doing that is because we use enhancements. And I know I can fill in those light spots, which I'm doing right now. Uh, you know, and this is something I encourage you to do. Sean, I apologize, uh, you know, that I let my card get this nasty. But as you know, I use it almost every haircut. And I try to every, you know, every day or every other day, try to take it and wash it off in the sink. Um, but you know, we're busy, man. We're making things happen. So anyways, now that we went ahead and put some color enhancement on there using the Sean Cuts hair color card, now we're going to go ahead and just shave up under the neck. And uh, so now I'm going to put on some hair fibers. I always like to lay a good foundation of color first and then, you know, I'll come in with hairspray and then after the hairspray, I'll lay down some, uh, some fibers and... The reason I like to do that is because, you know, it, it kind of covers the color enhancement that we just put on, you know, and if, if you see through the hair into the light spots and you see the color on the head, it doesn't look as natural. But if you'll put some hair fibers over there, it just it looks more natural and you get a sharper lineup, in my opinion. So that's why I like to do that. And then, of course, I'll line it up again, pushing everything back and, uh, you know, you know, just kind of cutting all that uh, excess off the forehead and everything. And then I hit it again with the hairspray. So that way you get that sandwich effect and it'll hold, you know, the fibers in from the bottom and from the top. So now I'm just going to come in with the razor. This is that uh, Filthy Blends Turkish razor. He sent me, and uh, man, I love this razor. This has been my, my go-to razor right now. As you'll see in just a moment, you'll look, you'll see the angle where it just seems like this blade, man, it's, it just, it's so thin. It just hits different, man. It, it hits different. Watch, I'll show you in just a minute. Look from this angle right here. Man, it looks like I'm hitting them with a, with a piece of paper or something. And it just, it really um, helps you get nice sharp lines. So now I'm going to come in, freehand the top with, uh, these are my JRLs with the mass, Fade Master Blade on there. And I just smoothed everything out. And then we went, you know, with our curved shears and hit some of those loose hairs on the top. So now this is some of the detail work I was telling you about. Um, I come in with my shear over comb and we're going to take out some of that heavier um, you know just darker bulk try to blend that in but also if my eye catches little dark spots I come in and I just tap at dark spots I tap at any lines this is where I start doing my fine tuning man my, my finish work cleaning it up and I think that it's the details and that finish work that really sets barbers apart so I, I would encourage you man pay attention to details 
use the tools that work best for you. The reason I jump to the shears at the end to, to do my detail work is because I have more control with the shears. I know that it's only going to cut right there at the tip of that blade, you know, where instead of trying to jump in with a clipper, even if you're using the corner of a clipper, sometimes you can, you know, make it a little darker. Now, once I go around the head all the way with my shear over comb technique, then I'll come back around in the fade area with my shears and I'll just knock out anything that I see sticking out. And uh, now it's time to clean up the neck. And as you can see, friends, that thing is blurry. And, uh, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about that thing. He's happy with it. It's blurry, not just on one side, but the other and even in the back everything is looking good but uh yeah that's the cut i hope you guys like it i hope you like this tutorial uh, if you did once again subscribe you know hit the thumbs up button leave a comment and that would be a blessing but yeah i feel like this fade came together for, for my man joel until next time god bless you guys and you already know if you're not following me on instagram you can do that at s period craft underscore blends for more amazing content so until next time peace i'm out of here